time in prayer matters. I remember that there was a there was a time where I would tell people, look, if all you have is five minutes, ten minutes, that's that's all right. And that sounds beautiful, but God created time. And there was a moment where Jesus said something. Every word Jesus speaks, pay attention to it. Jesus was praying in the garden. And he had, he brought his three disciples, the, his inner circle disciples, to watch with him. And to pray with him. And then they fall asleep. And Jesus looks at them, he says, could you not watch with me for an hour? That is a mystery where Jesus is revealing the very least. The very least in my presence, the very least that you should be spending in prayer is at least an hour. And you know why that actually makes sense? Because you need time to first unpack you. Get yourself out the way. Because when you come before the Lord, you come so full of stuff. You're coming with worries, with plans, with ideas, with dreams, with visions. All of that needs to first get cleared out. So now spirit and spirit can start speaking. And even in the midst of that, there must be a time where you also hear and receive. It's not just that you're going to go and say, blah, 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 amen, boom, and you leave. You have to also learn how to literally not, not just wait in a sense of worship and, and pray, just to literally wait in the presence of God. You have to learn and teach yourself the ability to just wait in his presence. You see, many times we don't have the encounters we're looking for because we don't have the discipline to match it.